Okay, today I just wanted to do a quick video on color correcting your video footage using Logarist and Vegas Pro. It's a Logarist is a video color correction system or really a method and you just need to go to logarist.com and once you're on the website you can download uh, basically these are LUTs pre and post LUTs that you use on your footage so you just download them and put them in a folder on your C drive then you'll need to go to vision color vision-color.com and download their free LUT plugin now once we're in uh, Vegas we need to go to our properties and we're going to set the pixel format to 32 bit floating point full range the video compositing gamma to 2.222 view transform is off and then re rendering quality should be best and uh, then if you're going to resize let's say 4k footage to high depth you can also change that uh, while you're here and take care of that and then you go okay then what you do is you, this is a s-log3 shot in uh, the Sony FS7. So this is S log three in the S gamut dot cine space. And, it, and as you can see, it's pretty flat and washed out look. Here we have our video scopes up and uh, there's our vector scope. Uh, our waveform is mostly used for exposure. Our histogram again for um, exposure clipping. And our RGB parade helps with uh, white balance and uh, balancing our colors correctly. And basically there, if the colors are all the same height uh, and match pretty evenly, then your image is pretty well white balanced. So what we do is we go into our video plugin here, we go into 32-bit floating, and we're gonna click on our vision color LUT, and we're gonna add it once, and we're gonna add it twice. Then we're gonna go over to our Vegas brightness and contrast and add that. Then we're gonna go into channel blend and add that. Then we're going to come up here and scooch the brightness and color and the channel blend in between the two LUT plugins. So then we go to our first LUT plugin and then we'll browse to the uh, Logarist folder that you'll create when you download your LUTs from Logarist and you find the color space that you are working in. So in our case we would go to Sony and we use the S-Log3 S-Gamut3.cine and we'll go OK. And then we go to our second uh, plugin and we browse and we go into our Logarist folder that we created when we downloaded. And we go from Logarist to 709. And the 0.66 cube seems to be the best one. And then once that's done, you'll notice right away the image is practically corrected. That's <laughs> just, just from doing that, just by adding those LUTs. So that's a really strong very R video kind of look but that is kind of how it looked <laughs> but it's kind of a punchy it's not really a stylized look it's just fairly strong but if you come over here um, you can look at if we look at our waveform monitor and look at our exposures you can see we got a pretty nice range from 0 to 100 maybe some clipping up there uh, against that wall and so if we go into brightness and contrast we could pull the brightness down if, see if we pull it up that doesn't work at all uh, it's way too bright but we might just nudge it down a little bit but I'd have to say that it looks pretty good as it is I mean there's there's clipping going on there but you know it kind of is what it is you know for that scene I'd rather have the foreground properly exposed rather than the I don't mind those highlights in the back so it's it's really just a question of taste at this point so you basically just just the brightness to where you feel comfortable with it and I feel like the scene already has a fair amount of contrast it, so again it's just if I decrease the contrast it flattens it and if I punch it up it kind of makes it more contrasty I guess so I actually kind of might pull that back just a hair just to where I like you know where I like what it looks then what we can do is we go into channel blend and we should switch to RGB parade and what we're gonna try to do is line these the these uh, the red the green and the blue try to line them up a little bit better so you press control on your keyboard and now we're gonna bring up the blue but you can see from the image it makes it too blue so that really seems that blue channel really seems to be controlling the the warmth and coolness of the look and you know what's interesting about this is that all those those should be lined up um, you know for white 
you know, if you have a lot of green in your scene, well, then your green channel is going to naturally be a little bit stronger than your other channel. If you got more blue in your channel, then it would be expected that blue's not going to maybe line up perfectly. So what you do is just play around, try to keep an eye on that RGB parade and trying to line those colors up the best you can. You can go to each channel and uh, see the effect that it's having. But ideally, if those red, green, and blue levels are fairly evenly matched, then you know you're, you've got a pretty good white balance there. So now we're gonna go into green and just play around with that and see what it does. And now I'll go into red and see what it does. But as far as I can tell, just from looking at the RGB parade and, and the screen, it, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good right about there. And so I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm okay with that. And, uh, and then that's basically it. That's all you've got to do to color correct your, and then you can render it however you want to render it. And there's really nothing more to change. You just, you can just render the project. There's no additional settings. Although the frame rate I think is not right. It was shot in 23.976, but there's really no more adjustments you got to make on rendering. Uh, for this other than the, the specific format that you're looking at and so that's what that's what loggers can do I mean with your s log footage so don't be intimidated by uh, color correction one thing I do like to do is like to print out a picture and if just by clicking that icon it gives you an, a kind of a reference image and those are kind of nice to have just to keep a library of so that you kind of know what things do what things look like so if we pull in the ungraded footage that's what we started with and that's what we ended it with. You can see it's it's a world of difference, right? And it's it's uh, it's relatively easy to do. Just those uh, uh, brightness, contrast, and white balance. And that's really all that was done to this image to bring it back to life. And even in a sense, more to life than it was, because I think that's actually maybe more vibrant than the scene really was in reality. So Logaris is a great way uh, to color correct your footage. And if you set your NLE to um, to 32-bit floating, you can do color correction in your existing software. So I hope you found this helpful and have a great day.